Ooh, Jeff Classics wants to know how to remove an M2 screw that's bound to the standoff. The top plate is sandwiched. Can you get a hold of the screw with a pliers and a hold of the standoff with the pliers and try and like break it off or twist it out? Sounds obvious, but that's what I would do. Electric Space Beaver says, what reason would there be for amp draw to suddenly read abnormally low? My Mob 7 had a minor crash in small grass and now under reads amp significantly. I mean, it crashed and something broke. I'm not sure that it's possible to be more specific than that. Let's see here. Giyats Hisham Sadida asks, uh, I have a question about soldering the Caddx Vista to analog flight controller. There's only HV 5 volt. Is it good if I solder it to the XT60 pad using the Beck output 5 volt, 9 volt? Yes. Um, you, you can solder it straight to the XT60. Um, assuming you're between 2S and 6S, which you probably are, just solder it straight to the XT60. Don't use a Beck. You can't use a 5 volt Beck. It needs a minimum 7 volts. But assuming that you're between 2S and 6S, just run it straight off of VBAT. You'll be fine. If you're not comfortable running it off of VBAT, run it off a 9 volt regulator. Let's see here. Uh, we got a question here from MMCFPV. Uh, saying, basically, uh, my GPS won't talk to my flight controller. When I plug the GPS into another one of my drones, it works. What could be causing the issue? Um, try changing the flight controller configuration from U-Blox to NMEA. I, I, I hate it when people do this, when they just, like, guess at an answer. And I'm like, I, I think to myself, don't guess at the answer. Just know the correct answer. And oftentimes I do. I don't know the correct answer this time. But I will say, a lot of times when I've had a GPS that won't work on U-Blocks, if I change it to NMEA, it suddenly starts working. And since this GPS works on a different flight controller that is presumably set to U-Blocks, then I would think it would work on the other one. But, like, just try it. Just try it. Just try it. I don't have a better answer than that. Uh, John wants to know, is there a good microphone to mount onto a drone for sound? Yes, there is only one that I think is worth considering. Literally one. And that is the Rush AGC mic module board. The Rush AGC. Um, AGC stands for automatic gain control, which means that when the wind starts going really loud, it, it cuts the gain and turns down the volume. Uh, in my opinion, this is the one to get, and I don't know of another one that's better. Rush AGC. Um, DZ FPV once says, I wish you would put out some remote ID module reviews sooner rather than later. For those who will comply with remote ID, it'd be nice to know what modules are good and which are garbage. Uh, that, yeah, um, I just don't want to rush because things are in flux and will change. Um, like I would guess that the, uh, August, September, wow, it's actually, it's actually closer than I thought. I was just doing the math. Uh, July, August, September. Holy shit. You know, you're right. That's, that's, we're coming up on the time. September 16th. We're about, we're currently just coming up on two months out. I am not, I mean, you know, it's starting to get to be the time where I should uh, figure out what's available and then start buying them and looking at them and seeing if we can review them. Uh, so yeah, that's coming. I don't know if sooner is the right word for it, but it is coming. Um, uh, 
Let's see. Wyatt Denbo. Oh, I guess this is a super chat. Okay, we're doing more super chats. All right, guys, we're back to super chats. Wyatt Denbo asks, do you get more range with the O3 and the goggles too over the Vista and the V2 goggles? Thank you for $5, Wyatt Denbo. Uh, I do think the O3 gives more range than the Vista. Yes. Yep. In my guess as to the reason why is because it's using H.265 encoding instead of H.264, which is more able to do more with the bitrate. But I don't uh, know for sure. Uh, Quad City Bay Area says, I saw a Rotoriot vid with 1S versus 2S. So confused. What's better? Thank you for a $2 super chat. Uh, they were specifically using the Vision 40 quad. Um, I think this is a case where uh, better is subjective. They're going to be different. There's definitely people who prefer the lighter weight of a 1S. There's people who prefer the more power of a 2S. Um, I th I like the simplicity of a 1S build. I like that you can easily charge 1S batteries. When I'm out flying tiny whoops with 1S batteries, I love not having to like think too much about lipo charging. I just plug the battery in and away we go. Uh, I think that the 1S has that going for it. No dealing with balance connectors or any of that nonsense. Ike Queen, thank you for a $5 super chat. My Walksdale VTX shows 10.4 volts. Supply warning in red. I have five T-motor stacks and they all output 10.4 volts. Should I be worried? No. No, 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 no. There's no need to be worried. Um, it's just... You can just turn that warning off. You're running off a regulator. You don't need a voltage warning when you're running off a regulator. Okay? Just go into the menu and turn that warning off. Easy peasy. Um, yeah. Isn't there... Can't walk snail... Uh, can it be configured to show either the quads voltage from the flight controller or the VTX supply voltage. It's been forever since I changed that option, so I'm not even sure. People who fly walk snail, remind me. At the very least, you should turn that warning off. It doesn't matter. You're running off a regulator. That doesn't mean anything. The, the, the warning is because it thinks you've got a 3S battery. And if a 3S battery was at 10.4 volts, then you'd be in danger. Uh, thank you, Black Jungle, for 10 ray eyes. Uh, legit suggestion. You and Blunty playing We Were Here. Go in 100% blind. Blunty, do you know that game? Uh, yeah, they're yeah they're like um, co-op puzzle games where we see different things and have to explain to each other what's happening. But I've never played it. I just know about it. That's interesting. I'd yeah. give it a go. We should uh, play Bomb Disposal Squad, Blunty. I'd be down for that. <laughs> that seems like uh, 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 the kind of game that ruins friendships. <laughs> right? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think we'd do really well. I've seen people play that game and do really well. Like if you actually know the puzzles, both of you, you can just really quickly rattle them off. If you've never played yeah. it and you don't know, uh, like which puzzle it is, it can be oh, really. They had a bomb squad, like a real life bomb squad. Doing. I saw that exact video. Yeah. I think those guys Pretty had good. played the game before, though, if my memory's correct. Um. <laughs> 